got to be honest, I'm I'm not in the best of moods today. Uh, I've just recently split up with my girlfriend, uh, and it seems to be an indefinite decision on her part. I'm, <laughs> I'm just joking. I bet you guys thought you were in for one of those videos where the guy's like, oh, this is the real me, and oh, so sometimes life just gets you down, and which is valid, but uh, it's not going to be one of those videos now. We don't fuck with that boring shit. Today I'm doing something new. I'm looking at old trailers of old movies and just reviewing them. Not reacting to them. Nope. No way. Reviewing them. Not reacting. Reviewing. I'm not going to be like, oh, wow, look, oh, fucking hell. It's not going to be so much about the films themselves, more so like how films were advertised to people in different eras and how like trends have changed and what things audiences were looking for in movies and just all of the different things you can analyze all the like conventions that were put in there and like the narrations from the 90s there's loads of like codes and conventions that you can analyze from trailers today i'm going to be looking at the old forrest gump trailer i believe i found the original 1994 one that was released in to people in the cinemas in that time not just like the 25 year anniversary version hello my name's forrest forrest gump would you like a chocolate? I have watched it a few times already just to prepare because it's not going to be one of those oh, initial reactions, I haven't seen this before, I, I, anything could happen, ooh. I've seen Forrest Gump loads of times, I'm very familiar with the film, and I've I've seen Forrest... My dog's barking, and I'm not going to tell him to shut up because that's a wholesome sound, and that doesn't count as an annoying background sound when you're trying to do a video because it's just a dog barking. You could, you might be saving my life from a fucking serial killer. I've seen Forrest Gump loads of times. I'm very familiar with the film. I'm going to try not to veer into just reviewing the film or talking about like the specifics of that. I'm really going to try and just talk about the coding, storytelling analysis of the trailer. This might be a short video because I don't know if there'll be that much to say. I'm just going to try my best. Um, this is unscripted. So though my unscripted videos usually kind of go to shit. So we'll just see what happens. Now my mama's always tell me how miracles happen every day. <laughs> Some people don't think so. Jenny! But they do. The key difference between like this trailer and modern trailers is like how long it is. It's like almost four minutes. And honestly, it gives away so much of the entire film. Like every sequence, every notable sequence from the film has like a snippet in this trailer. Mama says stupid is as stupid does. I gotta pay. I believe he said he had to go pee. You are going to be a general someday, Gump. Yes, yes, Tiger! Forget about me and get yourself out! I've been awarded the Medal of Honor. And I've got to be honest, I think if this was a modern trailer, there would be more left to the imagination. And I hate modern trailers. I mean, I'd assume that modern trailers are at their most formulaic than they've ever been, but there is bias in that because those are the ones that I've seen in the highest of volumes and I might just be sick of it. You know, like if I was around in the 80s and 90s, I probably would have grown sick of those kind of ones because they all might have just blended together in those times as well. There are probably good examples of artistic trailers. I can't really think of any of them at the moment. I'm not really big on them myself. Self. All of like the memorable trailers just seem to have like pretty cool use of music, but that's overdone now where like big popular classic song is used for like a shitty superhero film. Justice League uses like a Beatles song, like are you fucking kidding me? Yesterday. But I will say that the length of this Forrest Gump one and just the sheer amount of footage of the film that it shows is just way too much and there's a lot of stuff from the second and third act more so than probably should have been in there. What's my destiny, Mom? You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Coming from the more optimistic side, the almost four minute length, it is indicative of the change in the audience's attention spans from the 90s to now. It lingers on scenes from the film for a lot longer than modern trailers do. Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. Huh? You twins? No, we are not relations, sir. Again, modern trailers range from like 2 minutes 14 seconds, 2 minutes 30 seconds, that's like the average. Very rarely these days is it 3 minutes, sometimes. Only for the really popular ones that they already know like, everyone's going to watch this. But yeah, there are a few noticeable differences in this trailer, like scenes just going on for a little bit longer. Will you marry me? 
I'd make a good husband, Jenny. You would, Forrest. But you won't marry me. What a gimmick of a fucking YouTube series is going to be. Anyway, all this trailer is doing is making me want to talk about Forrest Gump, but I can't, I don't want to veer into reviewing that again. I'd say the fundamental aim for a trailer is to sell you on a movie, make you want to watch a movie that you've never even heard about before. Let's say that's the ultimate aim. I can't exactly judge this trailer like that because I saw Forrest Gump just kind of as you would like any other sort of classic famous film when you're growing up because your parents says oh yeah we need you should watch this yeah go on Forrest Gump if I'm going to do like a speculative sort of judgment on that I'd say it does do a good job of capturing the essence of Forrest Gump like the American showcasing of the different eras the slice of life aspect all of the different highs and lows of his life it does achieve that but only because it uses a sheer amount of footage from the film now assessing it from an artistic standpoint all it does is tempt me into talking about the actual Forrest Gump movie. The trailer itself, I imagine, is a formulaic 90s trailer. It's got that deep voice narration that was all over the place in the 90s. The world will never seem the same once you've seen it through the eyes of Forrest Gump. It is a good thing that that voiceover went extinct because really you should be more inventive with the editing and the visuals for a trailer. Since it's the medium of film, it's a visual medium. Judging it as a montage for Forrest Gump, it does act as like a nice tribute to it, like if it was just made by a small YouTuber who'd clipped it all together. It does make me reminisce about the fondness I have for the movie. I have to talk about Forrest Gump a little bit because it is a hard 90s movie. It is the atypical 90s Oscar bait movie. It even has the household actor playing a kind of mentally deficient person which is always the joke that that's sort of the Oscar bait role but as those vein of Oscar bait movies go Forrest Gump is one of the best it sort of set a lot of the trends for other Oscar bait movies that came later and it might be the same with this trailer because this trailer is very Oscar baity very 90s and that might just be because it's for the quintessential 90s film now you wouldn't believe it if I told you but I can run like the wind blows I do think Forrest Gump's a good film. It's cheesy, but it's got heart. It's not just like a cash grab of an Oscar bait film. It's very funny. It's self-aware. It's not just up its own arse. I don't want this video to be longer than it needs to be. I'm just reviewing a trailer. It is scriptless. This video is scriptless. Dickless. So what this trailer teaches us about the audience at the time is that we were a bit less cynical because it is unrelentingly upbeat and a bit cheesy. We had longer attention spans demonstrated by the length of the trailer. A film by Robert Zemeckis. As for the narration, I mean, there'd been narration in film trailers like probably since the beginning of the industry. But talking specifically about that deep voice, very specific type of narration that occurred in the 90s. It says the voice actor is uh, Hal Douglas. I'm doing some improvisational uh, research. I'm going to try and find out where it first cropped up. IMDB, IMDB. IMDb's being shit. Because he recorded so many trailers through the years, he was sometimes mistaken for Don LaFontaine. I'm still confident that Don LaFontaine was the guy who set the whole precedent, but it did say here that he started on the um, Gunfighters of Casa Grande, which is all the way back in 1964, but then he came back in the 80s for Friday the 13th initially. And you can imagine that being kind of like a more sinister use of his voice. He also did the trailers for all of the big action films from the 80s as well. So this sort of trend that he's so almost solely responsible for in trailers started with a creepy like cheesy ooh uh, the fright the killer's gonna get you or uh, Bruce Willis is stuck in a building that kind of thing now the last thing McLean wants think damn it think is to be a hero which is a, just a whole other trend in itself but that slowly transitioned into more like family friendly broader films for lack of a better word like you could probably get your whole family to go and watch Forrest Gump but not Die Hard sort of thing it started off as a more genre based sort of narration if I was going to do Friday the 13th trailer it should be for another video but I'm briefly going to just look at it just so I can get a voice comparison between the two uh, voice actors you may only see it once but that will be enough. Paramount Pictures presents Tom Hanks. So it is just a gradual evolution from the prior decades. In a world where AIDS was 
cool. So it's regardless of who specifically did the 1994 Forrest Gump trailer, it sort of still applies as just talking about the trend. Back to the Forrest Gump trailer, I don't think I've got much more to say about it. Quite clear why it's made in the way that it is, who it's designed for, in terms of like the imagery you see, like him from a young boy transitioning all the way through his life as a young male, college, football, American football, first encounter with a woman losing his virginity. It's selling the viewer on that, like, you're seeing this guy's entire life and you're seeing a showcase of this particular transitioning period of America throughout all these different years and decades. You've got some Vietnam War stuff for the boys who might have gotten bored with the whole like boring love stuff with Jenny. You've got the love stuff for the girls. Losing the virginity for the pedophiles. It's also very American friendly, I have to say. I don't think it's pandering. I do think it does actually criticise a lot of American history in a kind of goofy, funny way. It's not like jerking it off, the film. There's a kind of quick cut montage near the end of the trailer where you see a bunch of potential like, okay, there's going to be some tragedy. Jenny's going to go on drugs, go off a red, sorrow, some pain, gonna be mixed emotions, post-Vietnam America, flower power, the summer of love, make love, not war, or whatever the, the saying goes, John F. Kennedy, just all of like 50s, 60s, 70s, maybe even 80s, one sec, I need to look up where, how long, uh, Forrest Gump timeline explained, the trailer like the film is just a heavy pastiche of like 50s to early 80s America. Just all of the iconic events that went down. And the trailer demonstrates that that's what the film is. So people can get excited like, ooh, a bit of history. Ooh, going over all that cool shit and all the horrible shit that happened. And Watergate and all that. My boy. My boy is not fucking retarded. In conclusion, the trailer does demonstrate the experience of the film and showcase what you'll be in for but it does it by using too much content from the actual film. To say if I hadn't seen Forrest Gump and it was on my watch list, I wouldn't want to watch this trailer because it just gives you too, way too much. I'd want to go in blind or just a shorter trailer might do, but it's always good to go in blind, you know, fuck trailers anyway. So yeah, that should probably do it for that. I've said all I want to say. I think this has gone a lot better than I expected it to be. I've kind of avoided it being anything like a reaction trailer. So I'm proud of myself for that. I'm going to give myself a big... This might turn out really embarrassing because I might not get any feedback on the video. But I want you guys to decide to choose what the next uh, film trailer will be. For now, let's just keep it 90s and prior. Yeah, can't be from the 2000s, 2010s and all that. Because those are the trailers that we're most used to when we've been analysing our whole lives. So for now, we'll just... Go do a retrospective, we'll review the older trailers. So yeah, that's how you decide. I forgot what the comments were for. Uh, comment below what film trailer you want me to cover next, because I will be doing this again, because I like the way it's gone. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for 800 subscribers. That's fucking mint. Minted. Uh, thanks Liam Does Stuff for subscribing. I just saw that today. I don't know if he's watching this, but that's fucking mega, because he made that sardonic cast in a nutshell trilogy videos that series of videos they were fucking hilarious i've watched that like so many times now so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video give me feedback as well on like this series and if you want it to keep going or you think it's absolute shite and i should be ashamed for even thinking of such a dumb idea bye bye guys gone bye. you're gone bye Bye. 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 Okay, good.